All right, ladies and gentlemen, Melina in this video is going to talk about how she sees her channel now as opposed to before, all right? So before she was just doing it because she was inspired by Lady Gaga and Madonna and she was inspired by her family and her friends and she was really doing it for fun and just kind of having a good, good time and really kind of just proving a point, right? Not necessarily in a rebellious way, but in a way that was like, yes, I could be a star. Yes, I could do this really, really well. Yes, I'm sophisticated, yet really beautiful. Yes, I'm talented as a performer. Yes, I can do all those things. Yes, I'm rare. I look rare, all that. But now her purpose, which has always been this purpose, but she hasn't really noticed it too much until now, but she sees it as a beauty business, right? And we all know how beauty businesses are very... Um, are very um, important to a lot of people because they inspire and they really make people feel like they can go places they never thought they could, right? Now, the more beautiful people out there that give a message that say, you can do this, you all could do this, this could be a dream for you to follow, the more people that say that, the more people recognize that they're not, they're not like, they're not, not like a celebrity, right? That they are like a celebrity, right? So I'm over here, maybe to some people, and some people might feel they're over here, but I want to move that gap over in, in a business-like fashion, move that gap from here to here to like here to here or here to here even, right? Because some people are really glamorous, some people are really great and they don't know it. So we want people like that to shine and perform. And we want people like me to say, hey, you know what, maybe you might see me like up here but you could really do the same thing, right? You could, you could see yourself doing that, right? Like you really can, right? You've always thought you were beautiful. You've always thought you were smart. Maybe take it to the next level and perform, right? So Melina wants to make sure that you guys see her beauty business as a business that you can be a part of, right? Now she wants to inspire you. She wants you to feel good. And remember, beauty is not something that's looked at the same way by everyone. Not everyone feels the same way about beauty. Not everyone feels like someone that might be considered beautiful is beautiful and etc. etc. There are people that are not like conventionally attractive, but they're doing way better than some, than someone that is. Even with the amount of time or whatever, they're doing really, really well. They've tapped into something that makes them phenomenal. And we all know that that's powerful, right? Like. And those people might become beautiful later, but they've tapped in something that's very powerful. And so, you know, how does one person that might be uh, in one situation do something different than someone else, right? So we all know, we, we all know that businesses are things that people run that are important to the world because they, they create kind of like a, kind of like a, a very uh, a very uh, an important outlet for people or an important avenue for people to follow the same kind of business or do the same kind of thing and for people with um, people in the beauty business like makeup makeup people like makeup makeup sales people not makeup sales people but you know makeup that sells makeup they're in the beauty business and so they make people feel beautiful like we all know uh, different different beauty uh, markets and different beauty retailers have their stance of making people feel beautiful. They want people to feel beautiful because they want they want people to know that they are beautiful the way they are, and they they don't want to, a lot of people don't sell makeup to only the beautiful because there's not as many right. So we have to sell to everyone. We'll make it be sold to everyone, and why not have the outlet that everyone is beautiful and everyone could be glam and everyone can do whatever, right? So they don't want people to feel like they're not beautiful if they're selling makeup to them. They want everybody to feel beautiful and included. And like I said, beauty is subjective. Not everybody feels that one person is beautiful over another unless they like that better than maybe the beautiful they see in the other person, right? So beauty is subjective. So not everyone feels that one person is beautiful where another one might, might be beautiful to more beautiful to them when that person is conventionally beautiful, whatever, right? So beauty has its place in life. 
And beauty, the more you include in beauty, right? Like, if we have beautiful people that include people that are not beautiful, necessarily, in the, in the conventional sense, then we have more, more people that become beautiful, because people that are included with the beautiful people become beautiful. Some of them actually do become really beautiful, because they're like, I didn't know someone thought I was beautiful, I really had no idea. Now Madonna uh, talks about uh, how she was 14 at one time, obviously a little while ago, with she looks great, still very, very beautiful, incredibly gorgeous, she's the number one beauty in the world in my opinion, but so she talks about how at 14 she was instructed by a, a dance instructor and he told her she was beautiful, obviously in an innocent sense, but he made her feel beautiful because she was never told that before, she never actually thought that someone would think she's beautiful and of course she's 14 most 14 year olds are in kind of like either uh they're not necessarily going to be re ready to feel beautiful they're not that's the danger well, when i was when i was 14 i was not thinking celebrity or beauty for myself i might have thought that about other people but not for myself right and so 14 year olds are successful in, in hollywood or whatever so they might think that but and when i was 14 i was 14 i just enjoyed being 14. But yeah, so Madonna was 14, she was in dance, and the instructor knew that she was going to go places way further than he could take her in terms of her career, so he knew that she had a path set for her, and she was going to go far. Now Madonna obviously did go far, and she felt beautiful, you know, he made her feel beautiful, um, and so she carried that with her, and she now, she now has done many great things. She's incredibly successful, you know, beauty has has made her who she is today because she's in the beauty business as well, in a sense. So, you know, beauty business is something that people could all be a part of. And, you know, it's crazy, but there's, a, I mean, when you look around in Hollywood and all that, you, see, you might see the beautiful people that the world is centered on or the focus is on, and you might see them, but you do see their helpers, the other actresses, the other actors that are not as beautiful and they're, they're obviously a big part of it too. They want to make sure that they make the main star beautiful. We all know that everyone that's in, in Hollywood is not necessarily beautiful, but they could be part of the beauty business, right? Like, so what I'm referring to with the beauty business is just that, um, it's like the makeup part of things and it doesn't matter who the person the makeup's on. But it's like makeup. It's like um, it's like feeling gorgeous or whatever whatever look you have. It's like it's like selling beauty as well. So the beauty business I'm referring to for myself is selling an image, selling a look, right? So selling talent, selling particular talent. As Melina and Marco, I have a lot of talent, so I sell that in my beauty business. So it's kind of like a, a stance and kind of like a business and kind of like a a way of art and a way to live and I mean I'm very I love beauty I mean there are people that maybe they don't but there's a lot more people that do like beauty regardless of what they look like beauty is fun like why not why not be a part of it if you could if you could wear makeup and you like it and you may not necessarily do it for glam purposes but makeup is nice it makes you feel good and why not wear makeup? Why not? And I mean, I don't think makeup is for everyone. I don't think it's, it's you should have to wear makeup to feel beautiful. I think it's important that you allow yourself uh, to feel beautiful without makeup. If you don't want to wear makeup, you shouldn't have to. No one should tell you either that you need to wear makeup to look beautiful. If you, if you feel you look beautiful without makeup, don't feel like you should have to wear it. But it's an expression. It's a form of life. It's kind of like how you can express yourself and be and it's really kind of a nice way to tie up loose ends on a channel like mine where if i didn't have melina and the glam and beauty that was involved with melina my channel would be half its worth right and mark was very very good he might have done very very well on his own but he probably would have but and there's a lot of stories that wouldn't do this kind of thing but i mean for me i think it's important to have this beauty element and Marco is beautiful too, right? Marco is gorgeous. So why not have Marco included in that, all right? So beauty business is not 
something that, that is exclusive to only certain people. It's not something that is. Um, it's not something that we want to hog or take all of. It's something that we share and, and enjoy and have people get be a part of and make people feel welcome into. So with beauty business that Melina has, she wants to really inspire. So the beauty business that I carry on my channel is something meant to inspire, meant to be for people to feel like, hey, you know what, I never knew I was beautiful. Or maybe, hey, you know what, I could be more beautiful doing this. Or, hey, you know what, maybe I'm not the most beautiful person, but I can do a channel or I could do something in business and I could be a star, like Melina says. Right? So it's all about that. So totally enjoy the show. Thank you. Bye, guys.